students hope you all are doing well and uh, you people are safe all right we are going to look into the novel chapter 25 the great class lift or the great class elevator today but before we proceed on with this chapter i want to give a quick recap to the previous ones as we read previously uh, the three children that are augustus gloop violet beauregard and veruca salt has fall victims just because of their own selves and now there are only two kids left in the factory and they are mike tv and charlie bucket augustus was a greedy fat boy who fell into the chocolate river while drinking it and then comes violet a gum chewer she was warned many a times by mr wonka to not to eat that dreadful three course meal gum but then the rude gum obsessed girl ended up as a blueberry then uh, veruca salt she was the third one to be eliminated from the factory she act- actually was a spoiled girl who always wanted to have everything she sees at first likewise she wanted one of the trained squirrels of mr wonka and then all she got up to was in a garbage chute so now students what do you think is going to happen next with this question i want you people to go and read the next chapter the great class lift on your own and then come back to watch the video again I hope you got an idea what this chapter is going to be about. So I'm just going to highlight the main points with you people. Starting with uh Mr. Wonka remarks that all the children are disappearing but no one should worry because they all will be fine at the end. He sizes up the remaining group and suggests them to move on in the factory. to look into the other rooms well then mike tv says he is tired and wants to watch television in the reply mr wonka says that since he is tired they should all take the elevator and then he leads them into an elevator with a thousand buttons on each wall and the ceiling also Charlie was surprised and amazed as he notices that each button is labeled with a room name on it. Mr. Wonka uh, explains that the elevator can travel in any direction and that is made entirely of glass to allow all of you to look what is going on in the factory. Then Mike TV says there is nothing to see as you know he is a very dreadful child and he is not interested in anything except for TVs then mr wonka tells the children to hurry up and pick a button of their own choice and each child could pick one for them uh, for himself mike asks if there is a television room in the entire factory mr wonka points to the television room button and mike quickly pushes it the elevator takes off sideways all right here the point uh, i want to tell you is the speciality of this glass elevator is that it can go any uh, in any direction it can go slant way sideways long ways in any direction you people want it to go all right the elevator takes off sideways knocking over everyone except mr wonka mr wonka helps a screaming mrs tv to her feet and instructs everyone to hold on to a strap hanging on above the elevator charlie cannot reach and so he holds tight to grandpa joe's legs uh miss uh, mrs tv fears the roller coaster ride means the elevator is broken but then mr wonka tells her to relax grandpa joe checks to see if charlie is all right and charlie responds that he loves the ride 
Mrs. T V says she is going to be sick as her face started turning green. So Mr. Wonka gives her his hat. Mike T V tells Mr. Wonka to stop the elevator. He explains that it will not stop until it reaches the destination you people have decided to reach on. And then wonders out loud it if anyone else is using the elevator shaft from the other direction. This horrifies the TVs more. Mr. Wonka says they are nearly at their destination and asks Mrs. TV not to spoil his hat, please. Mike TV wipes the sweat from his face and Mrs. TV refuses to ever ride the elevator again as she was horrified with this elevator. As they exit, Mr. Wonka warns everyone to be very careful in the television room and requests them not to temper with it because uh, there is quite dangerous stuff in the elevator in the uh, sorry in the uh, t- television room he asks not to touch or not to interfere with anything present in there all right here uh, i would like to point out one of the phrase which i came across while reading the chapter uh the first on the first page the children are disappearing like rabbits now this phrase actually means uh that uh, the children of the factory are disappearing like rabbits while uh, have i hope you all have seen the magicians while doing their magic pulling out the rabbits and then suddenly they disappears so here mr wonka is uh, referring the children with the rabbits which are disappearing uh, just anyway without any special reason <coughs> then uh, uh some of the words which i want you to focus on and i would like to tell you the meanings of them the word here is uh, swerved violently all right the word swerved means to change the directions abruptly and suddenly so here mr wonka says the lift changed direction and swerved violently round a corner means to take take a change suddenly without any knowing to anyone then down here uh, the word staggering the word staggering means to walk or move slowly to move unsteadily as well another word which i think is difficult for you guys is precipice it means a steep cliff and especially a tall one so uh, rest uh, then here comes patted her comfortingly that means to soothe or console someone to make them feel comfortable an other word here is huddled forward means with a very high speed to think uh, something which moves and moves in a very high speed and in the last uh, the word temper the word temper actually means uh, to interfere into something
i hope you got the clear meaning of this chapter and uh, you will be able to answer the questions easily now so moving further to the exercise related to this chapter the questions have already been uploaded on the facebook and you have to do it accordingly on your notebooks you have to write down five word meanings the words have been given and the meanings are also given beside it then comes the questions the first question why does my tv want to go to the television room so desperately if we recall uh, my tv's character sketch we have done before in uh, the class he whenever he is tired or whenever he is frustrated he always he actually wants to go to watch tv so now this is a hint that you can give or maybe you can relate your answer to this example that why at this point he wants to go to the television room so desperately as we do in the class you have to write the detailed answer of the questions one line answer will not be accepted then comes the second question what does mr wonka means by saying the children are disappearing like rabbits uh, i have discussed this before and uh, now you have to explain in your own words that what actually this phrase means and why mr wonka is saying this you can go back to the video and watch it again so that you can get the clear meaning of it and the third question the last one you have to make sentences of all five words present in the word meanings exercise and that's all for this chapter i hope there are no questions left behind after this lecture thank you stay home and stay safe children